Hey everybody, welcome to Modern Luxury. Today, we're going to go over the top 10 richest athletes in the world. Make sure you watch until number one, because it's one of the craziest salaries I've ever seen. Number 10. Coming in at number 10, we have two-time NBA League MVP Giannis Antetokounmpo, who raked in $80.9 million this year. The only member of this list still in his 20s, the 27-year-old inked a five-year, $228 million contract with the Milwaukee Bucks back in December of 2020. The contract runs through 2025, and Giannis will be an unrestricted free agent in 2026. Basketball, however, isn't the only thing he's earning money from as he also has sponsorship deals and investments in brands such as Hulu, JBL, Kronos Foods, T-Mobile, 2K Sports, and most notable of all, Nike, which pays him around $10 million annually. Number 9. Next on this list, we have arguably the greatest football player of all time, Tom Brady, who made $83.9 million. Although the seven-time Super Bowl champion made some of that money through his contract deal with Tampa Bay Buccaneers, it's his endorsement deals that make up a chunk of that number. Brady co-founded Autograph, an NFT platform which raised over $170 million in new venture capital funding. Brady also launched his very own apparel brand, conveniently named Brady. And when Brady finally decides to hang up the cleats for good, whenever that may be, he has another gig lined up as chief NFL analyst for Fox Sports, replacing Troy Aikman. This contract deal is a colossal one, considering he'll be calling games instead of playing in them, at $375 million over the span of 10 years. This deal is set to pay him more than his on-field contracts he earned over his 23-year career combined. I guess you can say those pay cuts he took with the Patriots all those years are being reimbursed, just in a different way. Number 8. At number 8, we have Canelo Alvarez, who made $90 million. The world-renowned Mexican boxer signed a 10-fight deal with The Zone back in 2018, worth an estimated $365 million. This deal would collapse amidst the COVID-19 epidemic, when The Zone tried to reduce that amount that both parties agreed on, due to standard financial issues and due to claims that Canelo violated the contract regulations. Eventually, both parties came to an agreement, and let's just say Canelo got paid. Canelo also made a whopping $40 million in two of his pay-per-view fights against Billy Joe Saunders in May and Caleb Plant in November, both ending in victory for the middleweight champion. Aside from the ring, Canelo has a partnership with Hennessy and owns a promotions company related to his profession, which runs fights in the USA and Mexico. Number 7. At number 7, Roger Federer, who made $90.7 million. The only tennis player on this list made most of his salary this year off-field due to injuries limiting his time on the court. The former number one tennis player in the world has endorsement deals with Uniglo and Rolex and has invested in Swiss running company On. Number 6. At number 6, we have Kevin Durant, who made $92.1 million. The Brooklyn Nets small forward signed a four-year, $198 million contract with the team last year, which pays him around $48 million annually. Durant brings in about $28 million annually from his sneaker deal with Nike, making him the second highest paid by Nike, only behind LeBron James. Durant also has endorsement deals with Topshop, NBA, Weed Maps, and Coinbase, and is invested in 35 ventures and boardroom. The All-Star is currently seeking a trade from the Nets and could break a record for the biggest trade package for a single player, considering his value on the court. Number 5. At number 5, we have Stephen Curry, who made $92.8 million. Not one other player within the NBA has made more in salary than the Golden State All-Star, who signed a four-year, $215 million contract last August, which may be due a raise after another championship run this year earning himself and the Warriors yet another Larry O'Brien NBA Championship trophy and his fourth ring. Curry has an FTX endorsement deal that came with an equity stake in the company and doubled down in the blockchain by creating a collection of his own NFTs featuring his Under Armour sneakers across three metaverse platforms. Just like many other NBA players, Curry has his own production company and endorsement deals with CarMax, Panini, Google, Rakuten, and Callaway Golf. Not bad for the four-time finals champ. Number four. In at number four is Neymar, 
who earned $95 million. This Paris Saint-Germain star has one of the biggest contracts in world soccer, grossing him over $43 million annually, which expires in 2025. Endorsement deals bring the Brazilian soccer player more than half of his earnings. After making the switch from Nike to Puma, Neymar saw a huge increase in salary compensation. Neymar has sponsorship deals with Red Bull, McDonald's, Gillette, Beats by Dre, TLC, clothing brands like Replay Jeans and CNA, and he even owns his own image rights company, NR Sports. Number three. At number three, we have none other than Cristiano Ronaldo, who made $115 million. The now and once again Manchester United star broke the internet when he decided to leave the most popular soccer team in the world, Real Madrid, for Juventus in 2018, and once again in his return back to Manchester United. Due to his massive social media presence, having over 700 million followers across Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, it's safe to say he's one of, if not the most marketable athletes of all time. This type of social media presence allows him to charge massive amounts of money to advocate for these brands. Ronaldo brings in tons of cash from endorsement deals with Nike, Clear Shampoo, Herbalife, and has an impressive investment portfolio with brands including Juju GP, Tatel Restaurants, his own clothing brand, hotel chains, fragrances, perfumes, hair care, and much more. Ronaldo's current Manchester United contract is two years, valued at $53 million. Number two. At the number two spot, we have LeBron James, who raked in $121.2 million. The Lakers superstar doesn't fail to miss opportunities on and off the court. In October, he sold a minority stake in his production company, Spring Hill, to companies Nike, Redbird, Capital Partners, Epic Games, and Fenway Sports Group for an astounding $725 million. James became the 10th athlete in the history of individuals on Forbes list to surpass $100 million in earnings in a calendar year. Back in 2014, James told GQ that becoming a billionaire would be quote unquote his biggest milestone. Fast forward to today, and he's done just that. This makes James the first active NBA player to achieve such status, and second NBA player to ever do so, as he joins Bulls legend Michael Jordan. Number one. Last but not least, we have Lionel Messi, who made $130 million. This becomes Messi's second appearance at the number one spot on the Forbes list for athletes. Just as everyone expected, Messi also has a very impressive endorsement portfolio, as he adds a new endorsement deal worth $20 million a year with Socios.com, a fan engagement app that allows fans to engage with their favorite teams. Messi has endorsement deals with giants such as PepsiCo, Budweiser, and a lifetime deal with Adidas, earning him about $25 million annually from that alone. Just last June, Messi became Hard Rock's first athlete brand ambassador, which helped a ton when matching Ronaldo's in off-field earnings for the first time in nine years. Messi recently signed with French super club PSG alongside his teammate on this list, Neymar. The deal is reportedly worth $41 million annually, including bonuses, over the course of two years and even has a third year option. Did you enjoy this video? Be sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss more videos of the wealthy and much more. I'll see you on the next video. Take care.